Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. In this one, I'm showing you guys how you can make this picture right here in Photopea super easily. And I'm going to supply you with all the things you'll need. So links will be down in the description of what effects I'm using in this video and as well as the project link so you guys can get this as a template or whatever. So look out for that and uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, we need to make a new project. So go over to new project on photopea.com. Now change the width to 2560 by 423. Name it whatever you'd like, and then leave everything else the same and hit create. Just a reminder, at the end of this video, we will be changing the canvas size to 2560 to 1440 because that's the only size YouTube will accept. But I make it this size for now because it's easier to work with. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is go down in the description for the GFX download. Go ahead and download that folder and it will have everything I use in this video. So it's super easy for you to access. And one of them should be a stock called 12. So just drag that into your photo P. And you'll see here it's kind of small so we're just going to resize it hold shift to resize it proportionally i like to move it up because there's a lot going on down here and hit that little check mark up here once you're done now we're going to get our text tool right here and type in our name now what we're going to do is get our text tool and type in our name so i'm going to type in canvas i'm going to change the size to 300. It's going to look a little big, but the font we choose that I'm going to choose anyway is going to make it smaller. So there we go. Now double click on your text so you can select all of it. Go up here to the font picker and I'm going to pick. I don't know how to say this one, but it's right here. You can see it. Go ahead and click on that. Here we go. Now we got my name like this. Now move it to the center. Now double click on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a gradient overlay. Go into that menu. Let's change the color right here to a darkish green to a light green. There we go. So it looks like this. And I hit OK. Leave everything else the same. Now go to Interglow. Change the blend mode to color dodge. Turn the opacity up to 100. Adjust the spread and size a little bit till it looks like this. And actually turn the opacity down just a tiny bit to about 55. Okay, now what we're gonna wanna do is add a drop shadow. Change the angle to 90 degrees. Change the blend mode to normal, opacity 100. Turn the spread all the way up. And the distance, turn that down a bit until it's about 16 or whenever it looks like this, that means you're good. Now we're gonna change the color to a dark green. So like this. So it's starting to look 3D and that's really cool. Now we can get out of this menu, so hit okay. Double click on your text again. And we're gonna go up here to warp. I'm gonna change the style to Shell lower, right here. Change the bin to about 20%. Hit that check mark again, and that, there we go. So it kind of makes it look bigger and more abstract. I don't know, it looks cool. That's all I know. So now we're done with the text. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the particle effects from that pack you should have downloaded. Um, it should be called Mixo4. Just go ahead and drag that in here. Make it big so it fits the entire banner. Now change the blend mode on this one to screen. So it gets rid of the black. So there we go, now we got the particle effects. Make sure your particle effects are selected. Go up here to filter. Uh, blur, motion blur. And about eight is good, four to eight. So hit OK. Now click the background layer, go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Turn that to like 0.3. Hit OK. 
Now in that pack, there should be one more and it's going to be called number two. It looks pink, but we're going to change that. Bring it in. Move it over to the side like this. Hit that check mark. Now go up to image, adjustments, hue and saturation. Turn the hue until it turns green. Turn the saturation all the way up and turn the lightness down to about negative 15. These are my settings. So it's kind of the same green as this, but not exactly. Now hit okay. Hit control J to duplicate that layer. And now go up to edit, free transform. Right click on inside this box, go flip horizontally and then flip vertically. So now I can move it to this side and do the same thing with the hue and saturation. Oh, I guess you don't have to. So now it has this light effect on each side. Now the last thing we're going to do, well not the last thing, but we're getting close. We're going to go to the top layer, click this little page, it's a new layer, change the blend mode of it to color dodge, go to your brush tool, go up to this drop down menu, turn the size all the way up like this to a thousand and we'll first choose the soft mechanical brush so it's soft and not so like harsh I guess. Um, now just go ahead and click right above the text like that. Now click this box, change it to green. So you should have had it white at first and then change it to green. Click in like the same spot like that. And then actually I'm going to do one more white on top like that. Now what we're going to do is go down here to this half circle, new adjustment layer, click brightness and contrast, turn the brightness down a bit and the contrast up. So negative 20 brightness, 15 contrast. Go back to the half circle, choose curves. For the channel, go to red, move up on this line and down on this one. And then go to blue, move up and down. And then for green, we're going to move them both up a bit like that. So if I hide it, you can see the difference really brings out the green. So it looks nice. Now that's all there is to the tutorial. Now let's change the size back to normal. So go up to image canvas size, change the height to 1440. Hit OK. And now it's going to look really weird, but that's OK. I mean, it will show on TVs, but I mean, I don't really ever care about that because there's not too many people that are watching YouTube on TVs. But if you want, you can try making this look prettier. I'm not going to try it. One thing you can do is, is you can just get the rectangle tool, change the fill to black and just go underneath the banner. So if someone were to look at it on a TV, it would look better. Also, one more thing, if you don't like the color green, you can change the color of this really easily. So just go to your top layer, click the half circle, go to hue and saturation, and you can just turn the saturation to whatever color you like. And yeah, it's kind of messed up for dark blue. It's too dark, but let's say you want orange. There you go. So that's how you do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.